Bonjour. So I am currently watching um, a movie actually. Um, I paused in the middle because I realized it's 11.30 and I haven't filmed a video today even though um, I meant to. I've been really busy, which I know I've said several times, but I just really am. And I've really been finding it hard to continue with Venom, but I've had lots of people support me and also post videos and comment on mine and it's just been like a nice community thing. So I'm still trying to continue to make videos and stuff. Oh, I also was in the middle of saying I get sidetracked. That's not, that's not what I was in the middle of saying. I wasn't saying that I get sidetracked. I was saying that I'm in the middle of watching this movie. It's called Amelie, I think, Amelie, uh, I think Amelie. And the movie is actually in French, which is why I said bonjour at the beginning of this video. But yeah, so I paused in the middle of watching the video actually because I realized that I didn't make a video for today. It's pretty good so far. It's creative and a little odd and a little confusing, which I think would make more sense if I knew French. I don't know. I I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly why I like it so far. Sometimes after I watch something I need some time to like process it and like think about it, I guess, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I would recommend it so far. It seems nice and I like it. It's, I don't know, entertaining, I guess. I actually found out about it when I was looking up stuff about personality traits, which is something I do kind of frequently. I'm planning on making a video talking about it because it's a topic of personal interest to me. But anyways, I was looking up stuff about my uh, Myers-Briggs personality, which um, if you don't know is basically a personality trait which is like four different things that you can have in different combinations. So there's like 16 personalities. If you like personality type things, I would look it up because it's, you know, it's more than just like a BuzzFeed quiz of who are you. It's like an actual personality thing, which I don't know, I just think it's really interesting to do that kind of thing, to th to do those kinds of things. Um, so if you know about it, I am an INFP, which means introverted, intuition, feeling, and perceiving. Um, I've taken the test several times and I've looked up stuff about it because I just find it interesting and I kind of like that one because as far as personality tests kinds of things go, it's one of the ones I found that's more in-depth. If you know any, actually, let me know down in the comments below, please, because I just find it really interesting. I don't know why. That's like one of my things. First, what I was going to say about being an INFP is the movie that I'm watching was recommended by other INFPs um, that they like it, and so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll give this a shot. Yeah, basically, my personality trait, if you look up like INFP, Myers-Briggs thing, uh, the general consensus of like that personality, which of course, every person is different. So these are just kind of more general things. So basically in general, INFPs are, there are certain characteristics for these different personalities. I was gonna make a whole video about this another time and I probably still will because I just, I don't know, I have a lot to say about the topic and I get enthusiastic. Anyways, basically INFPs are uh, considered generally like creative, um, caring and empathetic about people. We, it's kind of like living in your own little world type thing where you just kind of like have these like random thoughts and you just kind of like have your head in the clouds type thing. Those are just like a few of the characteristics that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. It's also kind of weird thinking about these personality traits because also when I was, I was just home, I made a video about that, um, but I was just home for a few days and so I was talking to my family about this because I've been looking it up again recently, which I do like every so often. And so I had my family take the test, my brother, sister, and mom. And so they took the test and they got different um, personality results. I guess results is the word. So they got their results, but it's interesting to see if they actually agree with their results or not. For example, my brother, um, I think he got INTJ from the test, which is in introverted intuition, thinking, and judging. But based on the descriptions that I was looking up, he wasn't exactly sure if that fit him or not. Um, so he was thinking he was more of an INFJ, which if you don't know anything about the Myers-Briggs, this may seem a little confusing. So I'm gonna try and make it short, I guess. But yeah, so there were a few that he was trying to decide between. Um, and I think part of also what it may be is that people aren't exactly sure 
what aspects of their personality are actually like who they are as opposed to kind of who they've become in reaction to their environment. Okay, that could go into a whole nother topic, which I'm sure I'll make another video about another time, but that wasn't really my plan for this video. This was supposed to be just a short vlog. vlog. This was supposed to be just a short vlog, but when it comes to something like that that I just have a lot of thoughts about, sometimes I just start to ramble. I'm sorry, I'm looking all over the place. I am bad at keeping eye contact, even if it's with the camera. I'm just not good at like focusing on one thing and just talking to that thing, just looking at it. Like, especially right now, I'm like looking at the camera and like everything around it is fuzzy. I don't know what this video is. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, what I was saying about the personality thing is just that basically it was interesting having my family take the test and see what they got and see what they actually thought about it. I know personally for me, when I first started taking the test, it like took some time for me to actually understand that I would be considered an INFP, which is just kind of interesting to think about. At least I think it's interesting um, because at first I wasn't sure if I was an INFP or if I was something else. And also since it's kind of general, like, you're going to have different traits about you that aren't exactly the same as, like, you know, INFP. So, like, while I am these things, like, empathetic and creative and stuff, I'm not, I feel like generally INFPs are kind of generally viewed at as, like, little innocent cinnamon roll type people, which I don't know if that's a fair analysis, but at least that's my perception which is another topic. But that's my perception of what it is, and I don't really view myself as that. I'm also pretty sarcastic and I guess kind of cynical sometimes. I don't know if that's exactly the right word I want to use. So I don't know how much these really influence our lives or even really if it matters at all. Okay, so this video is getting to be a little bit longer than I really meant for it to be. I was just gonna do an update, but then I started to talk about this thing, and or this thing, meaning my uh, movie that I was talking about, my laptops here. Um, and then I started talking about personality things, and I could just go on about personality things, especially because you can't talk back and tell me to shut up. <laughs> but I will be making a video about personalities in the future. I've been planning to make it, but I haven't had the chance. Maybe I will tomorrow, actually, because I don't have to work. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't really have any homework. So I may be doing that tomorrow, hopefully. If not, it will be in the future. So if you're interested in this topic, look forward to that. If not, you don't have to, but it's a thing that's gonna happen. So even if you tell me, no, don't do it, this is my channel, so I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to go watch the rest of this video and then I will upload that video. I guess that's a movie and that's a video. That is you, my camera. I, I think I'm in a weird mood today. I don't know. Like usual, it'll probably be up at like 2 a.m. because that's just my sleep schedule. It's weird. I get creative like later at night. So the other day I wasn't tired and I was feeling kind of depressed, but I started writing a song because I've been trying to write songs just because I've been interested in lots of different creative outlets lately. But, so I started, like, writing this song, and so I was working on it for, like, a few hours, and then it was, like, 4 a.m., and I was like, oh, well, I actually need to go somewhere at, like, 10 a.m. the next day. That was actually Sunday, and Monday is when I had my job interview, so I ended up not going to sleep until almost 5, I guess, by the time I actually fell asleep when I had my job interview the next day, so I only had a few hours sleep for that, just because I just have these weird moods and don't have a set schedule. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just being really talkative today, so I'm going to make myself stop this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!